want to beg you in the name of God. Can I have your attention, everybody? Please, I want to beg you. If you are here and you know that we've spoken over the phone before and you have a recording of me talking to you, please don't wait until I threaten you and say I give you the. Don't do that, please. Don't, don't, this is what I'm saying. Don't have my phone conversation here, eh? and then you will now wait for me to get into a problem with you. Then you resolve it now and tell me the real truth. You now be like, I give you 24 hours. Don't do it. For some of you people that are lost here, I'm going to give you the gist. We're all about God speak. Can we spoil this country now? Can we spoil this country now? The Chief Justice of Nigeria is. Amen. Anybody can be the chief justice. If you want to be in trouble. <laughs> Guy, like for you that don't know, for you that are busy, like investment banker, well done, bros. You're back in Lagos. I have something. Sorry, I care about you guys, but well, value, you understand? Um, I have something coming up. So I'll be at Kenny's show, October 6th. So if you've been in Abuja, you can turn up with just hang around. Yeah, all right. So. Sorry, just have to brag. You're this one that's still about coming. You already didn't come anyway. All right. <laughs> Sorry, Jose. Uh, you'll get there soon. All right. That being said, if people don't know what's going on in the world, let me tell you guys. Summary, quick summary, okay? For you people that could not watch 12 minutes of VTM space in front of your phone, some of you cannot. Do you understand? You cannot even bear it. Like, why did I go to Facebook for 12 minutes? So, quick summary. Do you even remember when Bob Risky? came out of prison and he was looking fresh. And don't, if you say she, I wish you for you, I If anybody says she, for I'll come on for you. Good, shame, right? When he was looking, <laughs> was looking fresh and we all doubted and said, if like I see this guy no go prison, because I don't know any prison in Nigeria that will go to, my cousin have been to police cell, just not me, my cousin, police cell, just two nights, and I saw his face change. But Risky went for how many days? For something days or thereabout. Came outside, let's do 90 days, but this was something days, you know, prison time is not normal time. Prison time is like two third. So you don't count. Let me not say too much. Look as if I have information. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> prison time is a different calculation, okay? Prison calendar is different. So Bob Risky came outside looking fresh, and many of you here, you, you doubted the fact that this guy went to jail. Good, that's the summary of this VTM's voice notes with you. VDM said, and he proved it in a voice call, but Risky called another of his guys that he trusted. And that guy recorded the call, because Bob Risky was owing that guy money. Four million naira around June. That money was owing, was money was supposed to use to pay. Ah, supposed to use to pay so that he can have special treatment and not be in the jail. So you'll be in an apartment, they rented a place for him. That money was also money that he was supposed to add up to pay EFC so that they would drop the money laundering charges. Are you seeing now? You are the the news now on stage, right? Good. For so those of us that don't like very, very dark man, I'll help you. Now, Bob Risky did not go to jail. He was in an apartment where they paid about how much was the money? And who was the deal? I think they said they were asking for 7 million naira. So this guy was chilling. That might came out fresh, extra cream, extra air conditioner. When you see some people tell you typing from Kirikiri, they mean it. Have you ever went, gone online and you see some people saying, ah, but who, they who follow me, they prison like this when they enjoy this Instagram. People are actually talking from the prison. So Bob Risky was chilling in our apartment. Now, many Nigerians don't know this story. Many of us think that people actually go to jail now, that maybe there might be VIP se sections where you go to jail. You don't go to jail. You pay Nigerian prison, they call it Nigerian Correctional Facility now. Nigerian Correctional Services will give you priority treatment. On that phone call, Bob Risky was admitting to that guy that a godfather called somebody in Nigerian prisons and said, my boy, sorry, my, my guy, my person, that human being, <laughs> cannot go to jail. Now, this is why the story came outside. Bob Risky was owing this his friend, four million. And he said he would pay the guy back in July. The guy now called in July. This was June when they took Bob Risky. In July, the guy called and said, Baba, how far now? Where my money? Bob Risky said, ah, you know things are bad. They heard my account number, blah, blah. I cannot come out. Blah, blah. He said, but I'm stranded. I want you to pay up for a house. The guy said, ah, I cannot have the money. Hey, Bob Sherry, Bardes. You know Bob Risky. 
<laughs> so, Bob Risky, true life story, right? Bob Risky now told that guy that, wait till September. I swear, this guy waited till September. September 1st, a patient, oh, so caring. I like when you pass the burger, oh, so caring. Sharing burger together, that's so nice. Hair piece all the way. All right, back to this conversation. <laughs> True talk, oh my, you guys think I'm making it up. I'm giving you real time cheese though. From the stables of all the, see, do you know why? I dug deep into the story. The guy did not pay the four million. So September 1st, this guy called Bobriski, blah, blah, blah. Since July, left till August, September, half away the money. And Bobriski said, ah, the money's not yet ready. You see, because of four million, you are stressing me. This is something that, first of all, anybody that can give you four million, if I give you four million, I will kill you. That's what's gonna happen. It's not about marry your app. If I give you four M, you have to die. Or else, I don't know how you're gonna do. I'm gonna use all your kidney and everything. So, anybody, <laughs> do you watch you is that? What are we gossiping about there? Hmm? Now back to our gossip. Ah, see people see them gossip me. See only them. Yeah. So the, the guy now said that give my property said is it called four million? They are stressing me. The guy now said one thing. Now this is where you know that property has family issues and. He does not have the spirit of discernment. <laughs> you that you know that you've told somebody that you're owing money, you've told him about how a godfather did not let you enter prison, how you paid the FCC 15 million, how people actually have VIP sessions away from the prison cell, somewhere beside that Ikoyi prison, they just put an apartment and you'll be chilling. How any crime can be cancelled, even from the records that you went to jail, so you can travel to the country, easy. You've told that there are all those things in a call. And the guy now said, pay me my money. You now had the ghost to tell the guy that, I don't like the sound of that. Are you threatening me? That's like your, your village people are with you. He said, are you threatening me? The guy now said, I'm not threatening you. I give you 24 hours. <laughs> that's now. That 24 hours, but risky did not pay. Eh? And that's where VDM came into the image. Amen. Amen. That was where VDM, you know VDM, and once this is camera, he gets excited. That, Back of camera, sweet joy. Put it like that, talking. <laughs> hey, video very like gossip. Eh, you are joking? That's why I'm, I'm begging you people. If you know, if you know here that I've ever called you, you know why I'm saying this thing? Welcome to the, to the front seats. Welcome. Ah, bro, you are too fine for this lady. How did she catch you? Hmm? Welcome, bro. Brother. I'm just joking. If I say it about the girl and I say the girl is too fine for the guy, you will find it okay. You are fine now than now, okay? But well, when that you don't have money, but God will do it, okay? Start from somewhere. Welcome, brother. Put back on the table now. There's no drink. <laughs> don't mind us. All jokes, okay? No, whatever we say here, yeah. jokes, so no matter how realistic they might sound. Hmm? But well, that fine part is correct, but that financial. Back to my gist. I must complete this gist for you, please. Sweetie me. But this full time gossip, it involves my head. You know, I like dangerous conversation. This is why I'm saying that you push you. If you know you've ever spoken on the phone before, and there are a few people here that will call, please, if I have any issue with you, don't say that I don't like the sound of that movie, you're threatening me or whatever. Blah, blah, blah. Don't go and give VDM. Because the things that me, you see the rubbish things I say on stage here on a normal day, eh? I say worse on phone calls. I you see, hey Jesus Christ. It's not even about comedy industry, about the whole world, people that you know like I'm gonna die. If my phone call ever gets released, especially calls with me and they say okay, it's going down. Like everybody's if I release calls with me and I say okay, you will not value human beings as a whole. I'm not even talking about myself, okay, now you don't value humans because the things that we say, but first of all, let's assume that you are together, okay? You get that together for you. I don't want to say she deserves better, but okay, since we are not together, fine. <laughs> now, I'm just joking, joking, girl, he's better than you. See, <laughs> some of you will hear that together at work. Do you know that there's some kind of things you will say on a phone call? There is no escape eh, once that call gets exposed. Even if you laugh at the end. You know, you say some stupid things. Because you know that it's you and your own friend, ah, confidential conversation, and nobody's hearing it, right? You will now say some very dangerous things, and you will laugh, and you're like, the only way he hears us, you know, we're playing. For example, people at work, <laughs> your guy now calls you and says, people work in the same company, for example. Your guy now calls and says, hello, Alpha. Oh, my, that manager, I swear to God, giving us target of, of 200 million. He gave me has 200 million. Why is this office inside Pansheke? <laughs> <laughs> the next time I see that man, eh, I'm going to poison his coffee. <laughs> you laugh. 
Then you, you now want to top it up. You, you now say, poison care. If I see him, I will stab him. <laughs> you know that that call comes outside there. Yeah? No matter if when they are playing it eh, in conference call, that, that meeting, the laughter cannot save you. No matter the stupid one, you know that, that laughter is like, you laughed into unemployment. That's that laugh. <laughs> POS. That what you laugh. <laughs> you laugh into sports event algorithm because there's no job. There's no way. The things that many okay, talks about. There are many things I used to think about and I wish they are true. No kidding, you know. Many things on phone calls I used to say to people. I wish I take it die so I take over his comedy club. Those things, they must not come out. Uh, I don't understand. I don't understand for how many years you've been doing something for many years, two years, since July 2022. 2023, 2024, July, this August, this September, over two years, two months, you are running the comedy club, you've not stopped one Wednesday. You say you will not die. Let me see you come back from Canada now. Let's see if we don't have that flight number. Air France, uh, Ajay, put it inside the port, shake it, calabash over it, hallelujah. It's okay, one for the road. And you know if it's okay, guys, actually, I have a couple of these jokes I can use. Uh, can I be vulnerable with you guys? <laughs> Uh, I thought it's one family, I the same space now. Uh, sorry, please. Can I be vulnerable with you guys? Yeah. People don't want to get to die. Yes, somebody has to kill him. Only him. <laughs> Let me tell you why. Let us know. SLK started CGIF. So the first Nigerian comedy special taped properly for streaming platform space. However, there are some glitches with what he recorded that time. I was a part of it too. In 2018. So they put it in the cinemas. He did well as the first type of Nigerian comedy special in cinemas. The cinemas told him that he did better than Faust's own father the, the show that he put on cinema. He did better than Faust. That's okay. First comedy stuff. The few one guy now told him that, please record the next one and I'll put it on Netflix. No kidding. Then SLK did see Totala and Netflix. When Netflix were watching it, I was privileged to be in a phone call. The guy in Netherlands. The guy said, all right, so we're gonna do this for like Nigerians. I, I think like, like this could be like something to test the waters. That guy said, yes, the next thing, why we're on the call? This guy watched three, four minutes. Next thing it was, see, it's going global. No, this guy, this thing has to be global. We have to, that's how they increase their case money in dollars, in good dollars, and made it global. So either you are in Uzbekistan or you are in Venezuela, and there's Netflix day, you will see yourself. Yeah. You see the guy, I say you should not die. Don't rush it. <laughs> Now, SLK, in that same space, produced another stuff. He tried something really unique, like what Ali Siddiq did, inspired by Ali Siddiq, but he told the story about his sister, his cousin, but very, very close to him, that died of cancer. Made it a joke. Made material about them. Submitted it to Nigerian Toronto International Film Festival. They watched it and nominated him for Best Comedy Film. And he won it. By the way, that's the director there, Simi Adetayo. Amen. He directed that stuff. Won it in Toronto, in Canada, where they had American movies and some Canadian movies there. SLK won Best Comedy Film in that place. And that's in SLK, October 20th. He's doing something. Payback. You now say that guy should come back and do show. Like, you are just coming from Toronto Festival. You just did Netflix. Your Netflix money is still going on. But Netflix don't pay you at once. Let me give you this thing is beyond humor. Let me give you good normal cheese that you don't hear now. Netflix, I said I must spoil this place for this guy. He said he should not die. Now, Netflix does not pay you. I'm upset because I do stand up comedy too, but why is YouTube the one talking to me? Now, see, Netflix, I go best for you now. Netflix does not pay you once. Whichever, whoever you are, Netflix pays you in the space of in quarterly every year. So every three months, they drop the one eighth of your money. So if Netflix pays for you, they run as a two year package. So they pay say, okay, like some in dollars. Like, all I want you to die is stupid. Now I ask for Lekia like, yeah, more. This stupid boy, when they wear nonsense clothes, me, I will swag. I don't have 10% of his money. And I said, you should not die. Bro, don't look at me that way, I wound you. And I said, you should not die. They pay this guy. Now they pay maybe three months. SLK stays. Either you are giving him money, either he's doing show or not, either he's having events. He gets paid in dollars. And the dollar is converted to Tinubu's rates. <laughs> So, SLK had maybe some um, 16 million these three months. The next thing I pay again, bam, it will just come to 21 million. Like, any more and more. And you'll be wearing nonsense, the stomach will still be hanging outside there. No swag, wear one nonsense for my slippers, wear around like you, do this African kente, suffering. Where that is a, yeah, guy, I'll be slapping his thighs. Me, I will swag there on seas, put metal on top neck, strand there. 
They are saying you should not die. Let me see you come back to Nigeria. Let's see you now. You think I'm happy with you? They've not paid. They'll still pay from now. Pay till next year, June. You did crazy. I will wipe your microphone. I don't do joke. I'm telling you to be full of it. Are you okay? Say to your own. You mix your own too. You see that the KY is easy. Diversity. I'm telling you stuff. They are now saying, let's talk. He needs to go. First of all, he has many jokes that we can always reuse. Yeah. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah. Doing stand up comedy. And so he has more money than me. And, and I'm funnier than him. What's that doing for me? Well, I'm just joking. I'm not funnier than SFK, okay? <laughs> we are all about spoiling space tonight. This name, when I met to be JJC with whoever. Down the I don't care. Ladies and gentlemen, I will call the first comedian before I call the second guy, right? This this first guy of the night.